Hi, in this series of video demonstrations we're going to be using Fusion 360 to create moving models of our mechanical design ideas. In this eighth video we're going to look at how to assemble components which need to revolve around each other. To help us demonstrate this, over the series we're going to be modelling this punch mechanism. For this model we need to assemble the lever to the base plate so that it revolves around the pin. So we start by selecting the assemble icon and then the two areas of the two components that we want to link up with each other, so the end of those two cylinders. The movement symbolises a slider motion at the moment, so we change that to revolute. It's not central at the moment, so we need to correct that. We can offset that. We want it to be we want it to be minus eight. And we can just check that it is where we want it to be. It's not quite where we want it at the moment, so we'll change it to minus eight. And then we're going to click OK. So you can see now that when I move the lever, the pin moves with it because they're joined. Next, we're going to create a connection between the pin component and the holes on the base plate. So clicking assemble again, we have to capture the position because we've moved components. And then we're going to select the two areas that we want to make a connection. The pin moves into place, it's a revolute motion, we're going to place it up so the shoulder is in line with the edge of the upright, we're going to change the motion to a rigid joint, because we don't want the pin to turn, we just want the lever to turn on the pin, then when we click OK, the lever will move into position and we can revolve it around that pin, but the pin stays in place. Then using exactly the same assemble process, we place the split pin into the hole in the end of the pin. Then we have our lever fully assembled allowing the rotary motion that we need.